welcome guys and girls my name is gadgets and this is episode 34 of feed the beast infinity evolve skyblock so uh last episode i got the mob trap ready before i went on holidays now for me it's been i think 2 weeks since i've last been on the server and i think for you guys it might only be a weekend <laughs> so i don't think the uh i yeah there's not going to be much but i do want to get into automation today and i want to make a bigger controller and a bigger system with our me controller So with that all said, I'm going to snag this guy and we need more controllers because I want to make a nice big 7x7. Seven seven. It looks like everything um everything mob trap wise is going good. We have a ton of bags. Well, 14 52 of the like the rare ones which is really good a huge amount of netherrack which will help later on and the same with endstone enderpearls coming out our ears so we're all good on this end but basically what i want to do is we need so that's 1 2 and then 3 and then 1 2 So we need to go one, two, three, and then this way, and then two, one, two. So basically, we need to fill this space with ME controllers, and I'll show you why in a little bit. But it's basically going to be once we build this up. We're not going to need any other like controllers or anything. This will be basically our brains set right here. So, we need to get on to that. And I guess I'll be back in a little bit with a few more controllers and getting this all set up. Okay, guys. So, this is basically going to be our setup. Now, I'm definitely not claiming that this is my own personal idea. Uh this is actually a design by um Nonsanity. So, I'll leave his link to how he did this in the description, but it worked out pretty well, so I'm going to steal it <laughs> as you do with Minecraft. But basically what we're going to do is this one here is going to be our brain and then this one down here is going to be our transport network so this one will have all p2p tunnels and then this guy will just have like basically a simple uh transport network sort of thing set up so to get all of that we're going to need a fair few items from Applied Energistics. So let's pull up Applied Energistics 2 and we're going to need some dense cables and some smart cables as well as uh the P2P tunnels. Not items, not you, not you, just the plain old ME P2Ps which I do have a ton of these. So or like a ton of engineering processes. We made those up um like in between episodes so that basically so that there was a ton of this cuz I pretty much wanted to get straight into AE once I got back from holidays that's why I was sort of didn't really do it beforehand but we do have a fair few in here like a few stacks and enough printed circuitry to or like printed silicon to do a bit more if need be Now to make the P2P tunnels I'm not going to use the uh the pure flux crystals because 
they take forever. But we, what we will do is we'll make the service crystals because uh, they're a little bit cheaper and we can get those a lot quicker. Now, the other thing is we need dense cable, which is just redstone and ME cable, which is... Okay, so we need more flux cable and quartz fiber, which is just service quartz ground up with glass. So we're going to need to get a ton of glass. Luckily, we don't have any. All right, well, I'm going to go down and grab a ton of sand and get that all turned into glass, as well as everything else we need. And we'll be back in a little bit to wire up our brain. Okay, so now we need uh, 64 P2P tunnels. We also need a bunch of quartz fiber. And then we're going to chuck that quartz fiber in here and get our emmy glass fiber cable. Actually, this might be enough. And then we're going to chuck it over here and get our covered cable. And then this one, we're going to make our smart cable. And then we need to make some more. So let's grab some more wool. And then this one, we're going to make our dense cable. And then we're going to color our dense cable and our smart cables. So we're going to need those guys done. Actually, I need half of that. So, oops. Uh, and then half of you as this. So we'll just recolor them. And then half of these guys as the lime green. And then the other half as the normal green. Cool beans. Now, what are actually? There's one other thing that I need to make. This guy, I need a bunch of anchors. So it's basically any ingot and a service quartz uh, knife thingy. <laughs> knife thingy. Or whatever it's called. Okay, and there we go, there's our cable anchors. The last thing we want to do is we want to label all of these guys. So I'm pretty sure if I put this in here and I just type a name, so let's say green one, and then we have green one. So we're going to need to label every single one of these and I'm going to just give them a basic name. So like green one, green two and so forth. And then if we go, uh, so you my sir need a capital. There we go, lime one. So lime one, lime two, and I'll just quickly name up uh, a bunch of these so that I can show you what I want to do over there, and we'll be back in a sec. So basically what we're going to do here is we're going to grab the lime ones, and we're going to chuck the lime ones in the corner here. So that's lime one, that's lime two, and so forth. And the reason why we've named them is because it'll just be easier to know which tunnel we've u we're going to be using. Because we're going to have a lot of tunnels through here. And then underneath, we're just going to come over here and do the same. Now I'm going to start from this one and then work my way out and then around, I think that's clockwise. But 
if we just go that one there and so forth. So this bit of the process is going to be a little bit tedious, but in the long run, it's going to help a lot with working out where everything is. So I'm going to make up, quickly go back and make up another two uh, to show you the whole thing. And we'll be back in a sec. Okay, so now we need to connect these guys up. We we'll grab our lime cable for our lime ones. Now we'll hook this one up here, and then just to make it a little bit easier, we'll chuck a. Is it this one? Yeah, it's that one. We'll chuck a anchor there, so that we don't get confused or the system doesn't get confused and then we're going to go around on the inside of this guy and then come down to here and in here we're going to hook up like so now as you can see that's then just filled all of those channels and we have eight channels coming into this cable so we're going to fill eight channels this side, eight channels that side, which will be 16 going into this guy, into here. And then another eight channels this side, another eight channels this side, and that will be another 16 going into there. And then what we can do is we can just bank off of this, and that will be our 32 channels all the way through. So, I think it's, yeah, it should be like that. Where am I going to run that one from? Do I remember? Oh, that's right. I need to get rid of this power system here. Because what we're going to do is we're going to run our green cable, our big green cable. So, what we might do is we'll chuck a quartz fiber. Yeah, yeah, and then a green cable. Or can I not do that? I don't think I can do that. Dense cable. I wonder if dense cable. I don't think dense cable sends power. No, it doesn't. So we're gonna have to hook power up here somehow. Because what I want to do is I want to run a because we need to hook up to this one and there's no point in running it into here if we're just going to be running it off to the side so i want to run a lime cable from the bottom of this or out the side of this actually you know what probably from the bottom and then like a green cable from this side and then we're going to be running them all the way through and along and out. We also want to anchor that guy eventually, but we'll get to that soon. But to show you what I don't want to do for this side, we're going to grab our green smart cable. And then we're going to come up to here. And then we're going to chuck an anchor on this side so that when we come back around it won't connect and then we're going to go around to this side all the way around to here and then we're going to chuck another cable anchor cable right here and that will stop it from connecting once we get to here now we need to get power to this one so what i might do is well actually you know what what I'm thinking is if we chuck that guy there he's going to connect up to this and then that powers everything and then all we have to do is take out this guy 
We'll work something else out a little bit later, but if we chuck our Tesseract on the bottom here now, then that's going to power this guy that's then going to power this up here. I might later on put a, I don't know, something else here. Yeah, I probably will have to put something else here. But, there's our 8 coming off of that one, and going into there, and there's our 8 lime going off of that one, and coming in. I'll work out what, I'll, what I want to do with the power situation in between episodes. For now, this will do, just so that we can see it up and running and working. Uh, and this is uh, an alternative option. You can just plug in. So you power the bottom one and then draw the power off the bottom one and power the brain. Uh, I'd rather, I'd like to do it the other way, but I don't know how I'm going to get. I think this might be a little bit too close. Maybe if we moved it down one, we could then do that. But we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, I'll have a little bit of a think about it while I'm setting it all up. But with that, guys, uh, I'm back from holidays, so this might be a little bit of a short one. I'm sorry, but if you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit that follow and like. Probably next episode, we'll start using some of these and our tunnels, our P2P tunnels, and setting up a bunch of automation and stuff. So... With that, guys, later.